Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well. Now I've got a quick little Photoshop tutorial on how to do a very basic text effect and this is going to be how to make the ice effect on Photoshop. So very simply all you, we do is we just uh, add a quick little effect here on Photoshop and you guys can come up with pretty much a basic basic ice effect for your text on pretty much any image you guys want. Alright, so this is a very simple process. So what you want to do first is go to File New and I'll just create a quick image around 700 by 500. Hit OK. And we'll just start off with a little text tool here. And you guys can use any font you'd wish. There might be fonts that would be a better match for this, but in this video I'm going to be using the Courier New Font. And let's just put fireworks tutorial as an example actually this is an ice effect so that's kinda ironic that we're using fireworks tutorial you know what let's go with iceworks tut tutorials how about that <laughs> alright so we just go to iceworks tutorial is gonna fill up too many so we just put there and now after that what you guys wanna do is go to filter go to noise and click on add noise and hit OK. With this, um, the noise amount, you guys want to put around, I guess, 125, around 130, whichever would be fine. I'll just put 130. And distribution, you want to put on uniform and make sure monochromatic is unchecked and hit OK. Once you're done with that, uh, if you have any background layers, you might want to merge it down with your text layer so uh, it'll be easier for us to edit later on but if you just have one text layer like I do we'll just leave it like that and how are you gonna merge it um, you might wanna control shift actually just shift and select both layers and then merge layers or just click control E that would be the easiest way okay so after that what you wanna do is go to filter pixelate and crystallize. Now right here around the cell size we'll put around 3 and we'll hit OK and go to filter stylize and we're gonna click on find edges. Okay so once we're done with that we're gonna go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and I'll just put this around 2 pixels somewhere around there actually this is too much one is good enough, one pixel is good enough okay so once you're done with that what you want to do is rotate your canvas now how are you going to do that? go to edit transform and just rotate 90 clockwise alright so once we've rotated our image we're just gonna invert it by clicking control I on your keyboard and we're just gonna go to filter stylize and win and make sure the method is win is checked and from the right and we just hit OK so once we've got that this is basically our text effect all ready to go now all we have to do is just rotate it again so once we've rotated our image back to counterclockwise what you want to do is go to image and adjustments and go down to hue and saturation or click control U on your keyboard now what you're gonna be wanting to do is obviously adjusting your image color because we actually want it to show up well so as you guys can see very basic um, but what I want, actually want to do is create a background layer unless you guys already have a background layer of course and we're just gonna fill it in as whatever color you'd wish so once we've filled in our image I'll just go back to hue and saturation and fix up this color so for my settings I think this is pretty good enough so just mess around with hue and saturation until you find your liking and you can add a few effects to your image to make it look cooler I guess so I'll just add a little outer glow here and we'll put it on blue to make it look like actually look like ice alright so that's basically all you have to do for this effect it's a very simple effect and very effective 
and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if it did make sure to thumbs up this video and also if you have any suggestions or any tutorial requests feel free to leave it in the comments relating to Photoshop and that's basically all I've got for this video